All right, I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick pencil test composite in Adobe After Effects. Um, and it's pretty simple if you never used After Effects. Uh, don't worry, you can probably follow along here. Um, it's similar to Premiere, similar to Photoshop. It's kind of like the two programs sort of squashed together, and it has a lot more functionality. All right, so we're here in After Effects, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my footage. So we can go up to File, Import, and we are going to look for what we're going to use here. So what I have here is I have a, um, a cycle that I've created of four drawings. Um, it's just a little drawing that's uh, standing still here. And then I'm going to import that as a sequence. Uh, if you have a video, you can do it with a video as well. It doesn't have to be individual frames, but I usually always work with frames. So um, if you're importing frames, then you need to make sure that this is checked so that you have uh, import a frame sequence there. Um, okay, so we'll open that. And here is our sequence here for drawings. Um, you can see it's running at 20 at 12 frames per second. Um, but we're going to also loop this because it is a cycle. So here is where in the interpret footage panel, you can change the frame rate if you need to. Sometimes the default is 2997. So just make sure that when you import footage, whether it's a video or um, a, a sequence, just make sure that it is imported at the right frame rate. Otherwise your animation, of course, will play too fast or too slow. Um, so 12 is good. We're happy there. Don't need to worry about the rest of this, but down here, we're going to loop this. Um, oh, let's say 20 times. That will give us plenty of footage to work with. Uh, okay. So, um, next we want to import the background. So I'm going to use the shortcut key, command I, and I'm going to get my background, which is just a pencil drawing. And this is not a sequence, so I don't need to have that checked. Uh, and I'll open that up and there it is. All right. So we're going to make a new composition, um, up here, composition, new composition. And, uh, compositions are sort of like timeline, um, projects in Premiere. Um, so it's where you kind of can throw all your layers. Uh, so we're going to call this known and we are going to make it a standard 1080p. Where's 24? Here we go. Okay. So 1920 by 1080, um, 24 frames per second. Duration is 30 seconds. That's plenty. Probably didn't need it that long, but we'll just hit okay. Okay. So here's my composition area, and now I can drag in my background and just drop it in here. Um, and then I can drag it out to as long as I want it to be. Um, but note that my background, if you look up here, you can see that this is like a high resolution image, right? Um, 3000 pixels wide, uh, and our composition is 1920 by 1080. So it's actually really huge. So uh, I just need to shrink this. Um, and I can do that by using the scale property here. We'll bring it down to about 60%. And that will give us uh, good. And note that the top and the bottom are cropped because of the aspect ratio, right? 169. Uh, okay, so we have to do the same thing for our next layer. We're going to put this one on top. Um, so here's our little known guy and he's also too big, uh, cause he's also at that 3000 pixel, uh, ratio. So we're going to do the same thing, scale him down and I'm just going to type in 60 and there he is. Um, and now what we can do is just use a multiply blending mode and, um, he'll show up on the background. Uh, so here is the modes right here. If you don't see those, go down and look at the toggle switches and modes because After Effects also has these other switches up here that are for other functional things. Um, so if you see this, just click on this and then the modes will come up. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to go down to multiply and boom, there's our background. So this is what would be called a pencil test. Um, the one thing that you should note using the multiply is that, um, 
you know, you can see it's all transparent. So basically the white becomes fairly transparent. And the better contrast you have on your exposure, the, if you notice, like, it kind of starts to get grayed out. Uh, so the whiter the paper, the less kind of gray out you're going to get. Uh, for a pencil test, this is fine. If you have your character kind of moving over elements in the background or um, if you have your bouncing balls and they're kind of moving over stuff and you don't want the lines to get confused, you can just turn down the opacity of that background here in those transform settings. There's opacity, so you can kind of like make that at 75 or 60 maybe. Um, or you could also, you know, add some color effects or something to change the color. Um, but basically, that's all you need to know uh, to add a background if you're shooting on paper. And, you know, we can get into final uh, renderings and other stuff um, at another time. But for pencil tests uh, for this class, that's it.